Hello again. It's Friday, May 29th, 2020. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The Journal's live coverage of the Iron Gate Town Council drew a good audience last night and probably for a good reason. Mayor Chuck Unruh reported that next year's budget meant no tax increases of any kind, a wage hike for employees, and a decrease in the town's trash rate by $1 a month. We knew for a fact that our citizens really couldn't afford to pay any more than they were already paying. So we had to try to come up with something that was going to make it uh, easier for them to be able to afford to live here and pay their bills here. But we were also able to present this budget with no tax increase on residential property or personal property. No increase on water payments to the consumers. No increase in sewer charges to the consumers. In fact, what we're proposing tonight, if council will approve this budget at our next meeting, we're proposing a decrease in uh, expenses to the consumer of $1 per month under garbage pickup. This budget carries a reduction in garbage pickup fees from $7 to $6 per household on average, which would bring the monthly total bill from each household for water, sewer, and garbage pickup from $101, which it currently is, to $100 for the upcoming fiscal year. The town of Iron Gate also moved forward to negotiate with the old schoolhouse owner, Will Harris. Using a Brownsville grant process, the town hopes to acquire the property and renovate it for public uses, as well as the town hall. And now a word from our sponsor. On Monday, the Allegheny County School Board meeting agenda is relatively short. The board will discuss some grant applications and approval of its next year's budget. And then in closed session, it will discuss the superintendent's contract. The Flower Center in Clifton Forge reported that a four-foot black snake moving down the sidewalk was drawing a fair amount of attention on Friday. The journal only got its tail as it slipped under a doorway at 408 East Ridgeway Street. Said one onlooker, he'll be back. The DSLCC Summer Teacher Institute starts on July 13th and is offering two classes. Advanced registration is required. Log on to AlleghenyJournal.com right now for all the details. And now for local obituaries. Travis Braxton, 40, formerly of Covington, died on Monday. Erna Hoover, 82 of Covington, died Tuesday. Maxine Schultz, 89 of Monterey, died Tuesday. Stephen Hodge, 69 of Warm Springs, died Wednesday. Ellis Morris, 89 of Lexington, died Tuesday. Helen Fix, 92 of Lexington, died on Monday. And Richard Irvin, 38 of Covington, died on Thursday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be mostly sunny, high of 81 and a low of 52. Now on Sunday, mostly sunny, high of 74 and a low of 46. And on Monday, mostly sunny again, high of 75 and a low of 48 degrees. And that's the way it is on Friday, May 29, 2020. 
More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.